Hey everybody, this is Cheryl from So Can Do, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a summertime silverware organizer, which is perfect for having out on the patio and taking along in a picnic basket. Uh, I'm going to be using some brand new fabrics um, from the Hoodie Collection by Timeless Treasures, uh, which has some gorgeous uh, summertime fruit and uh, nice coordinating print. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is uh, cut our fabric. Now what we need is half yard cuts of two coordinating prints. I'm using the brown bubble dot and the pineapple. And what we want to do is cut um, some rectangular shapes for the body of the silverware organizer. So you want um, a rectangle that is 14 inches high and 19 inches wide and you'll want to cut two out of your outer fabric, which I'm using the pineapple print. So you want two pieces of that size up from the pineapple and one piece that's 14 inches high by 19 inches wide out of the brown, um, which will be the interior part. And then we also want to cut a piece that's 14 inches high by two inches wide um, of the coordinating print, which is the brown, um, to make the tie. Okay, so now we're going to make the pocket that the silverware is going to go into. So you want to take one of the pieces of the pineapple print fabric and fold it in half uh, with the um, fold facing upward. And then we're going to take a marking pen and on either of the short sides you want to mark in uh, one half inch. That's for the seam allowance where we're going to attach all the pieces in a few minutes. And then in between those, we want to uh, draw a line that goes um, every three inches. Okay, now I've taken the piece of the brown lining fabric and put that behind the pocket that we just folded and marked. And then I'm going to pin those two pieces together. Okay, now I'm going to stitch the pockets in place. So I take the piece of fabric and put it right in place, uh, right where the marking line is. And then I'm going to stitch all the way downward so we can start making the pockets. I'm just doing that with all the pocket parts. I'm leaving that half inch line inward from the edges on both sides. Um, I'm leaving that unstitched. So here we go. Next, I'm going to take the remaining piece of pineapple fabric and I'm going to place that over the pocketed piece we just did uh, so that right sides are facing and then pin those together around the perimeter and then we'll be stitching them together. Okay, so now we've got everything all stitched up, so I'm going to um, trim up the raw edges so we can get ready to turn everything right side out. So each corner I'm going to square off with my shears like this, and then I'm going to trim all the raw edges so that they're about a quarter of an inch from the uh, stitching that I made. Okay, so now that we've got everything all trimmed up, I'm going to reach inside the opening that we left and start pulling everything right side out. I need to press that out and uh, get things ready. And then the next step is going to be the tie, which we also want to press. So you take this strip that you made that's two inches wide and we're going to double fold that. So it'll be folded inward like that and then fold it again and then top stitched so this will make the tie um, and then we'll get going on that. So let's whip out the iron and get everything all pressed in nice. Like I said earlier, um, I folded the tie in half and pressed it with the ends meeting in the middle and then folded it again and pressed that down. So kind of like making bias tape but you don't have to cut it on the bias since it's just for a tie. And then what I also did was angled the edges um, when I cut them so that way I can just fold those inwards so um, the raw seams won't be out and about or able to fray. So I just fold that inward and then refold it in. Again, just like you would if you were doing something with bias tape. And then I'm going to stitch that down um, really close to the edge so I can make our ties. All right, so now our tie is good to go. So what I'm going to do is fold this in half just like that. Then I'm going to take this piece and um, about halfway point where our opening was, I'm going to insert the folded part of the tie 
right in there about half an inch. Just like that. And then pin that in place. And then I'm going to top stitch all the way around for about an eighth, eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth of an inch away from the, the seam that we've made previously. And do that all the way around the perimeter. Okay, everybody, finish the top stitching. And now all that's left to do is figure out what pretty utensils we want to stick in here. Place them in all the pockets like so. And then roll things up. And then grab our tie, wrap that around, knot it through, ta-da! You now have a nice little portable silverware organizer. Great for when you want to just grab everything in one stroke, take it on out to the patio, or toss it in a picnic basket, or just in the car on the go. And that way you can just roll it right back on out and have everything at your fingertips. And it's also completely washable, so that makes it even better. Easy cleanup. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Um, again, I'm Cheryl from So Can Do. You can visit my blog to see more tutorials like this on socando.blogspot.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.